guys how's everyone doing today it's been a minute since my last video but we're uh, gonna get into something here today i'm gonna pull the 16 out and we're gonna pull the engine out of the 14 so we can get the governor fixed in it um kind of determined that it's an internal problem has uh I've done everything i could to try to fix it from uh, the outside and uh well, everything leads to internal, so we're going to pull that out. Um, normally with these coolers, let's see, there we go, these coolers here, this little flap comes off, this is what goes against your governor there, just controls it when the RPMs go up magnets will come out pushes the little silver pin up well you know what I mean so so I have everything here to fix that so we got gaskets and everything else and uh, I'm just gonna use the original rod and rings hope for the best and uh, start getting into her I had to get a new battery too I actually bought two of them, but $180 for some decent ones. So, other than that, I sold the 12 with the blower and more deck and the deluxe 12 with it. Um, I'm just going to stay with the 14 and 16s, I think, for right now and just keep my collection small and get a lot of attachments. Uh, the reason why, too, I want to get the engine fixed in this now is the weather's been starting to get nicer here in Ontario. And I'm going to get a tiller for it, hopefully, this coming weekend. So it'd be nice to get the wheel weights off the 12 put on this, because I kept those, and get the tiller on it and get it ready for the garden since I sold the tiller for the John Deere 110. So been lots of stuff going on, and I'm just kind of filling you guys back up. So other than that, let's uh, get into this 14, see what we can break and fix. Uh, obviously the first thing is is we have to pull these two bolts off it's one under there and the one on the bumper you don't have to take the bottom one off just the top one and the one here the whole grill can come out it's actually um that uh, there's a cable under the hood to keep it from over lifting We'll disconnect that. This is gonna fall. Yeah, there it is there. So once we take this off, four bolts, I can pull the whole hood and grill out. And then we'll uh, disconnect the fuel line, the electrical, and we'll have to get in here, pull off these four flywheel screen bolts and then get in and pull the four bolts for the drive shaft. And once I get all that done, I can take the four bolts from the oil pan out and get the engine off. But first things first, we gotta drain the oil. So we'll get back to you after the oil's drained and I get all the hood and grill off and watching this stuff's boring. So I'll show you more when I get the engine tore apart and all that but stay tuned well finally got the pan off motor pulled and it's actually really hard to see in there but you have to take my word for it the gear in there is just completely done so once i get uh the shroud and the crank all pulled and the rod and piston out i have to get the cam out and then we can get at the governor and uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to take these out because they like to blow them up. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, disassemble this motor. I was right though, it's internal, so we'll get back to you. Alright, well, I got it stripped down with all the parts just all over the place right now. But there's how it should be. I haven't even touched this yet, so... see what we got. 
I'll just, normally it's the little plastic tab or uh, the metal tab that comes off the cross shaft. Sorry, the camera's all over the place. And, uh, so this thing uh, got pretty chewed up. like that's the one. A little flat. Hmm. Well, looks like I got some inspecting to do. Well, honest to God, I can actually already tell you what happened. Someone's had this motor apart and they put the governor in wrong. And uh, that's what happened because that little flap is actually behind the pin that keeps the governor in so everything either or it got bent or something happened but I know that's not how it should be so I guess we'll switch all that over the bar looked really good on this but the rod on the other hand um, there's no gouging in it but it's burnt <laughs> looks a lot worse but I might just run a little bit of 600 or a thousand grit sandpaper over it same with the crank probably a thousand grit but there's no uh, no scoring in it so I'm gonna just clean it up very nicely so I want to use this tractor this year and uh, I'm gonna be cheap and just put it back together for right now but um, I'll order a full rebuild kit for it and uh, you know, get it all done up by, uh, by winter. I'll pull the motor out of it and rebuild it over the winter. And then in the spring, I'll put it back in and it'll be good. But for right now, I just want to get a tiller on it. And it did run good with no knocks and no smoking. So I'm going to just go about fixing this governor right now. And uh, it can get a better life uh, in a few months. All right, we'll get back to you. All right, well, I got the other governor in. There it is there. You can see now. This is horrible. You can see it better like that. There, that hits. That's how it's supposed to work. And then there's a screw. This one there actually holds that gear in. So it can't go anywhere. So other than that, she's all back and I'm just gonna start putting it back together. I'm gonna remove the balancing gears because everyone does, they always blow up. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, it's uh, day two. Uh, I started this actually pretty late in the afternoon there yesterday, so I just set the motor in, um, cleaned the inside of the shroud out with all the gunk, but it's all back together. You're just going to bolt it down, hook up the drive shaft and all the wiring and that, and then uh, I want to adjust the valves on it too, make sure they're all good, put some oil on it, and uh, see how she works. Now on the other video you saw a gun sitting around but it's just a BB gun. I use it because I had my chickens out yesterday and the hawks like to attack them so I strike back but yeah, I didn't have any issues yesterday so that's nice. Today on the other hand it's a different story. It's snowing and it's not too cold out but it's just a crappy day so i yeah, fire up the heater here and uh, start finishing this off. And, I'll get back to you guys here when I get more of it back together and uh, well, I guess we'll see you guys then. Alright, well, I got everything all hooked up. I got the engine in, drive shaft in, flywheel screens all bolted in, starters back on. I went through the valves, got them all adjusted, the intake was way out, the exhaust. There's a little, little out, so got it all adjusted, coil back on, 
all hooked up, fuel line hooked up, all that fun stuff. So we're just gonna keep plugging away at her. And hopefully the next video should be all put back together and we'll see if she runs. So stay with me. it this is the video of it running just put it away uh, i was gonna take it out go for a little tour but i gotta clean up this shed it's been a mess so got that done it's good i just have to get a pto switch and hook it up and probably rewire the tractor because it's missing half the wires for the pto switch which i have uh, a whole harness off the other 16 i could put into it I'm gonna wait. There's supposed to be more stuff coming here probably within the next few weeks. So uh, if that happens, then I might be able to score on a harness there, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go into cleaning up and hopefully I can accomplish something because this is just horrible. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. It wasn't the best video, I know, but um at least this is done i'm super happy about that and uh you guys hope you guys are all doing good taking it easy and enjoying the weekend uh kind of cleared up a bit but still cold and windy so i'm gonna clean up now and you guys just take it easy and enjoy your day we'll be talking to you take care